This is just a quick follow-up video for the series I recently posted on the RD6012 power supply. In the series I showed putting the supply together with a set of parts I bought as a kit. I then posted a video testing the supply up to full power and in that video the switching supply failed and I posted a subsequent video to show the modification and repair I made for that supply. I have since run the supply at full power for around 15 hours and it's absolutely fine. It um, runs without issue, it doesn't mind running at full power now, so that's the full uh, power out. In fact I run it at 12.1 amps and 61 volts, so that's nearly 740 watts and it was running fine. Um, the heatsink gets um, at about 48-49 degrees centigrade which is okay. Um, the only issue I had really was the uh, fan was still extremely noisy. It runs all the time, uh, even with the um, mains switch in the on position but the rider in standby, the fan still runs because of course the supply is still powered up. And that was getting a bit irritating. So I've decided to modify the supply a little bit and just make the fan a bit more controllable. It is temperature controlled but it has kind of a medium speed and then a very high speed and uh, it's a very noisy fan so it gets kind of annoying. Before I get on to that just a quick uh, note on the modification I made. Um, the one I showed was just putting two of the dual diodes in and um, the boards laid out so that's quite easy to do. You could put three in if you wanted to. That's getting quite close to the I think the capacitance limit for the a diode recovery so it might start getting uh, a bit hot if uh, the, so the diodes might start getting a bit hot if you tried doing that. Um, I've got two in here and it's been absolutely fine. Uh, I also tried it with a high current diodes which um, these are 60 amp diodes rather than the 30 amp dual diodes that are fitted so this amounts to the same thing. Uh, it's not quite as easy to fit these because you do have to put a couple of jumpers on the board but I have tried it with these and it works fine but uh, I'm sticking to the dual diodes just because it's a neater arrangement on the board uh, but either one will work. So that was uh, on to fitting a temperature controlled fan. Now you can buy small temperature controlled boards now they do need to be switching um, isolation types because the only real supply that's available in here of course is the uh, 70 volts out from the uh, switch mode supply which is too high to run most uh, fan speed controls from. You can get them, they're not very expensive but um, I just wanted something um, cheap and cheerful to throw into this that will do the job. This is now powered up and I'll just move the microphone in a minute so you can hear it but uh, the fan is not spinning at the moment uh, but it is temperature controlled. So if I move the microphone to the fan and then I'll heat the temperature sensor up with a soldering iron and you'll be able to hear the fan uh, start up. So as you can hear the fan starts up once the thermistor warms up. I'll put the microphone back and you'll hear the fan stop once it cools down again. Okay, so as you heard, it slows back down. The way this circuit works is once it's started up, it will go up to full speed, but then when it goes back into the slower mode, it doesn't come to a complete stop. It just runs very slowly. I don't know if you can see, but it is still spinning. If I stop it, it will start up again. So when you first power it up, it's off completely. And when the thermistor warms up, it goes into a high power mode. And then when it cools down again, the fan continues to run fairly slowly. So you can go to a lot of time and trouble designing a circuit to do this, but I didn't want to do that. I've got something, as you can see, that's extremely simple. If you want to see the schematic for it, can see very complex. Um, all this really is the way that the power supply controls the fan is with the open circuit there's 15 volts across the uh, terminal but when you load it up 
you'll get about 9 volts in the low uh, temperature mode but when it gets hot the current goes up and it drives it right up to 15 volts again so all this is really doing is just dropping um, a few volts dividing it and then it's using the voltage at the divide point uh, through a zener to control the transistor and so when the voltage rises above a certain value then the fan will turn on and when it drops back down again because we have hysteresis in this the fan continues to run very slowly the point at which the fan comes on and the speed it returns to depend on the value of the resistors and the value of the zener so if you want to you can change the zener for a different value and it will cause the fan to run faster or slower but it will still change speeds so if i change the zener for a different speed one I'll move the microphone back to the fan and you'll hear it's now running but I'll then heat up the thermistor and you'll hear the fan speed up and it will slow back down again once the thermistor is cooled down which it has done there so it's temperature controlled it is still running all the time with this values entering but um, it is much slower than it was and far less annoying I'll put the other zener back in this is a 4.7 volt zener if I put a 3.6 back in then this is causing the fan to run very slowly it is spinning enough to blow some air through I can feel the air blowing out but I can't hear it and uh, when I heat the thermistor up it does run up to quite a reasonable speed so what I'll do is I'll run it like this make sure nothing's overheating and um, if it behaves itself and does what I want I'll just make a very simple breadboard to pop this onto and uh, reassemble the supply and that will be pretty much it the only other modification I will make to it is to move the thermistor that's sensing the temperature in the supply. At the moment it's just sitting here in free space and what I'm going to do is move it across and attach it to this heat sink. This is always going to be the hottest part of the system and this is what I want to uh, use to control the fan and as long as I do that then the rest of the supply should be protected because this is always going to be hotter than anything else in the supply anyway. So there are the mods I'll be making uh, that's this uh, uh, series finished with this supply if you want to see any specific testing then let me know um, but otherwise quite nice supplies it's um, a shame that the switching supply is not quite up to the full power um, specification but it does work if you just need 12 amps at lower voltage then it will be fine if you need the voltage but not at 12 amps again it will be fine it's just when you run it up above about 550 600 watts total that it runs into problems um, but once it's modified it seems to be fine right up to the full 720 watts